Today, I have a very interesting topic, and we're going to answer the question, why does gastric bypass reverse not just diabetes by 83%, okay, in a very short period of time, but many other diseases like central obesity, hypertension by 63%, high cholesterol by 61%, kidney dysfunction, fatty liver, PCOS, sleep apnea, decreased risk of stroke, certain types of cancer by 70%, atherosclerosis, cardiovascular disease, pseudotumor cerebri, which is basically severe headaches. There's feels like there's a tumor in your skull with all this pressure, but there's no tumor. GERD, with, which is a digestive issue, joint pain, and retinopathy, a problem with your eye. Now realize I'm not recommending this procedure. I'm gonna tell you why, because it has some slight minor complications and side effects. Malabsorption syndrome, vitamin mineral deficiencies, like B1 deficiency, which could then give you peripheral neuropathy. It also creates mineral deficiencies um, like iron and calcium, protein deficiencies, certain amino acids don't get absorbed, increase your risk of getting infection, uh, death in certain cases, and kidney stones. Other than that, you're perfectly fine. Basically, it handles metabolic syndrome. Now, I've been talking about this for a long time, well, now I found the most amazing study that backs it up, and you gotta check it out. I'll put the link down below. It's entitled Hyperinsulinemic Syndrome. The metabolic syndrome is broader than you think. Now, what is it about gastric bypass that can lower insulin? Well, when you get the surgery done, they alter part of your small intestine, the part that stimulates insulin when you eat. So let's say, for example, you eat food that is not carbohydrate, okay? You're just eating some protein, vegetables, and a little fat. The fact that you're eating will trigger something in your small intestine and raise insulin, okay? And then another situation, you can just eat carbs. That will increase insulin. But if you no longer have the mechanism that triggers insulin when you're eating, you're gonna greatly reduce insulin. You're gonna handle these other problems but it's much safer to do this naturally so you don't have to surgically go through this and have to risk a lot of these side effects right here. All you have to do is get on healthy keto and intermittent fasting. For those of you that are new to my channel, I put a link down below. For those of you that already have been watching my videos, you already know about this. You've already experienced most of these right here. So check out this amazing article. I think you're going to enjoy it. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.